Hey guys and welcome to another edition of BB News and today I'm going to be talking Levi Colwell once again and not in Madueke and that um, video that's going around after um, England's under 21 Euros um, victory. <laughs> So first of all, congratulations to England under-21s who won the Euros. Doesn't happen often. They beat a very good Spain side and dominant in that performance was our very own um, Levi Colwell. Although Brighton think that he belongs to them. They were sending out a tweet congratulating him. No longer your player, mate. He was just on loan to you. He's a Chelsea player. He's a Chelsea blue. Um, and um, he was... No, they didn't concede a single goal in that tournament. And uh, Levi Colwell spearheaded that defence uh, in perilous performances and very calm, assured, and this guy can be the real deal. So I'm going to be talking about um, this, you know, some of the fan base and some of the, the, the nonsense that's coming out that we're hearing um, with regards to the, the video that Noni Madueke and Levi Colwell were involved in. What are you going to say, brother? Come on, man. Hey, listen. We're both coming back. He is as well. Make, listen, hey. I'll make sure he comes back. Did you get it? And Noni Madueke says, I'm going to make... We're both coming back. I'm making sure that he comes back with me. And I think Levi Colwell said, uh, man, you're, you're an idiot or something like that. But... Was he saying he's an idiot for saying that he's going to let him come back? Or maybe he thought he was just a bit embarrassed by the, the messages what, what, that, um, that, that uh, Noni Madueke was carrying out. It was, it was, you know, he may have seen it as a little bit cringy. Maybe. I don't know. But it's just the way that our fan base overreact to every little thing. And most of the people, because they, when they saw this video, a lot of them were under, you know, they they, they made they made it at the, the, the conclusion, they came to the conclusion, sorry, that this guy doesn't want to be here. He, he's, he's, he wants um, to go to past his new and all sorts of rubbish, you know. How they can say it from a, a, a t 10 second piece of video footage, I don't know. And that's the thing. The same fan base who drove out uh, Mason Mount. Okay, um, there's a lot of fans. What makes me laugh regarding Mason Mount is a lot of the fans didn't want him here in the first place and they were saying that he wasn't good enough for Chelsea, etc, etc. And when he goes, those same people are calling him a snake. Come on, you can't have it both ways. Either you want him here or you don't. Um, and it's quite strange because... Um, Anyone who likes an academy player to come and do well at the club, they are the ones. And, and, and I want to, I always say I don't really want to have a divide between the, the um, English based supporters and the ones from abroad. But it seems to be that a lot of people from abroad, they have got a thing with, with players from Cobham. And I don't understand it. I don't, I really don't understand it because. What is wrong with uh, um, fans wanting people from the academy to be to represent the club? That's what the academy is about. You want to see homegrown players coming through and representing the club. I, I supported the Chelsea at a time where we had the likes of your Ray Wilkins and um, who else was there? Um, Fillery and uh, Gary Stan. No, Gary Stan was bought from Portsmouth, wasn't he? Um, there were um, a few homegrowns. You know, Ray Wilkins was, was the main one when I was growing up. We had Johnny Bumstead, as I think, and uh, Colin Pates and all these people. So it's good when you see um, homegrown players making it in the club. You know, I want them to be in there because they deserve to be there on merit as well. Not because they're just homegrown, but because they have come through and they represent the club to the highest. Look at John Terry. John Terry was the prime example of what we have here. He's a um, centre-back who came from the ranks and he played for Chelsea for the whole of his career. You know, he left when he was like 30, what, 34, 35, just to have a swan song at Aston Villa. But, you know, the, most of his career was spent at Chelsea. And the way that he represented Chelsea, the way that he captained Chelsea, the way that he got Chelsea... And the way that the fans um, related to him, 
That's good. And what it does also is uh, John Terry was the one who knitted the side together for his captaincy. Any new player that came in, they had to know what it feels like to play for Chelsea. So um, so that's why the likes of the Levi Colwell, Reese James and people like that coming through is important for us. Um, and I'd, I'm not one who sort of um, just bigs up the academy just for the sake of it. And uh, again, those people who do that, that's not that's not, that's that, that's not um, healthy either. You know, any academy player that comes through, oh yeah, they're brilliant. Because not all the academy players are brilliant, and that's not what the academy is there for. The academy is to get one or two players through every three or four years. That's what makes a successful academy. Um, Levi Colwell, for me, is the real deal, and I don't use that word lightly because when we had this crop of youngsters coming through at the club. I said, out of all the ones who are going to make it at Chelsea, I said it's going to be Reese James. And that was when he was at Wigan. Why? Because I could spot talent. I could see talent. I could spot talent. This guy was, was putting up trees when he was at um, Wigan. And the rest is history. We could see what a quality player he is now. And the same, as I said, I said the same thing about Lee Y. Colwell. A few... Um, I, about three three years ago, when he was coming through the ranks, because know a lot of these people who look at they're not judging, they're not they don't even watch youth team football, so they don't know what what's coming through the the, the, the ranks, and they they're making a I'm not sure what they're making their judgment on. And from what I saw with Levi Colwell, and then when he, what he took on to Huddersfield and um, Brighton, you can see that there's a top class player there in the making. He's going to make it. The fact that Liverpool want to spend all that money on him. The fact that Manchester City made inquiries about him. The fact that Brighton want to spend 30 to 40 million on him. And the fact that um, Gareth Southgate has said to him that, you know, if he's play, regularly involved in football, he's going to be um, considered to be um, in the England squad for the Euros. That says it all. Some people who just got this, you know, the ones, the same ones who are saying that um, some people are common sexuals and they've got this this bias for homegrown players. These are the ones who just don't like anyone, any homegrown players, and it's bizarre. I just don't understand it. You know, these same fans would prefer the club to be splashing out eighty million, eighty, ninety million pounds on and Gavi, Gavidol or someone like that rather than um, have faith in. The youngsters that we have at the club and you know Man City are about to buy Gav Gavidol and it'll be interesting to see the comparisons between Colwell and Gavidol because I think Gav um, Colwell can be just as good even if not better than, than Gavidol um, but, and the, the, the thing is as well I've mentioned it before so I don't want to harp on about this uh, about him wanting a guaranteed position he doesn't want a guaranteed position I've said it before he, what he wants is just to make sure that he has a fear crack of the whip. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's not arrogance. Don't call it arrogance or anything else. You know, he's seen us buy centre um, left um, side his defenders. He's seen us loan him out. So he's going to have a little bit of caution. Do they rate me? Do the club rate me? If I come here, am I really going to get a fear crack of the whip? So, you know, he's, he's right to ask those, those, those questions. But the fact that we've sold um, Cooley Bally now and uh, Thiago Silva's the, the wrong side of 30, Bally Shield's going to be injured for the first part of the season, he's got a chance to come in and prove his worth. And he'll be there on merit. If he's there on merit, he's going to stay in the side. So um, all these people who are writing him off are ready or making. No, he's, he's already. I think because of Mason Mount has gone. They need another hate figure. They need someone who's going to defy, divide the fan base. And already um, a lot of these fans are trying to create something that isn't there, create drama from the, the Levi Cole situation and to make it, again, a divide between those, those who, who, who rate him and people who, 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 for some bizarre reason, don't. So that's my take on the, the situation with, with Colwell. I, um, I hope he stays. And I want him to stay, if, you know, and I feel that if he gets his opportunities next season, then you're going to see this guy. He's a he's a real deal, trust me. Um, so nothing's guaranteed in football, as we all know. But for me, I think this guy's got the the right um, temperament. He's got the you know, and he's ready made for the system that that, that um, Pochettino wants to play. He's quick. He reads the game. He can beat the press. Great passing between the lines. 
um, and he could be a future leader. Um, John Terry already said that he's one who can be a future leader. I remember he had a conversation. He said he could hand over the ban the, 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 the baton to him to, 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 to lead the club. And that's what we need. We need the people who've played at the club, who gets the club. And yeah, all he needs is a bit of love and reassurance. And you'll see the best out of, out of him. So what are your comments? What side of the fence do you sit on when it, with regards to Levi Cole? Put your um, comments in the section below. And that's the end of my video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't, don't forget, guys, to like, subscribe, turn on all post notifications, so you'll be notified every time I make any videos. So take care. Bye-bye.